Hi, this is Ray Wilson from Music from Outer Space. And this video is a follow-up to the transistor matching article that I wrote that's uh, published on Music from Outer Space's uh, website. And I'm going to show you how now that you have one of these matched pairs, you've, you've built it into the little module that's glued together to the little piece of aluminum, and, uh, and it also has the temperature compensator on it. I'm going to show you how to calibrate the oscillator and the type of accuracy that you can get with your own hand-matched transistors. For this uh, calibration procedure, I've just populated the ramp core of the uh, oscillator board, as you can see, because that's really the heart of the oscillator. Once you have it correct, once you have it uh, uh, calibrated nicely, the rest of the board is, is essentially just for wave shaping for the other waves, the triangle, the sine, the square. And so um, this is the critical part of the board, and this is the part we're focusing on during this video. An oscilloscope is a very handy tool when you're calibrating oscillators. I'm going to show you some tricks here to use. We have the probe that we're using going into channel 1 set to times 10. We're at 50 millivolts per division on the uh, volts per division. We are DC coupled. We are set for a falling edge trigger so that we trigger on as the, as the ramp wave resets. And uh, what we are setting, we're set for here on the horizontal time division is two milliseconds. Okay, so then you feed zero volts into your uh, VCO, and then you use the coarse and fine controls to set it to 30 hertz. Now, as you can see, the uh, falling edge is out here somewhere, so we just want to bring that back with our variable control here until we see one complete cycle uh, on the grid. Now after we do that, we're going to take uh, the horizontal sweep magnification times 10 and we're going to then move the position so that we have the uh, falling of the ramp wave or the reset of the ramp wave right in the middle of the screen. The reason we do that is now as we go up by octaves, this ramp should reset at the same position in the screen all the time when the scale adjust is properly adjusted. Otherwise, what's going to happen, I'm just going to use this to move it around to show you, is if it's sharp, we're going to be over here to the left. If it's flat, we're going to be over here to the right, you see. But if we're uh, right in the same position every time we go up an octave for those first four octaves of adjustment, we know we are right on. And that's what we want uh, to use the scope for, for those first four octaves of adjustment from zero volts, one, two, and three, and that's again starting at 30 hertz, then we'd go to 60, we'll go to 120, we'll go to 240, and uh, this should be right in the center of the screen. Now something you should know, when we're on times 10 magnification, any little variation of a, of a you know, part of a hert is, is going to push us around like this, uh, which is good. Uh, so this is going to help us get um, a nice adjustment for those first four octaves. We're going to also need a frequency counter. I'm using my BK Precision 5491A 50,000 count multimeter for this function. It has a frequency counter built into it. I'm going to be powering the uh, circuitry with this Protec triple DC power supply. I'm using it in the plus and minus 12 volt uh, setting right now. I'm using this little handheld meter uh, on the bench. It's a nice little uh, 50,000 count meter as well uh, in order to monitor the uh, voltage that I'm putting into the control voltage input of the oscillator. I have a little amplifier as well that I put the signal through as I'm going through the calibration procedure because, you know, your ears really are, are what the uh, end result is for. And um, you can really tell when you start to get the scale adjust uh, correct and you, you're going through the octaves. It's very helpful. This is the little box I made that is uh, supplying the voltages uh, from zero uh, through seven in one volt step. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can either uh, set it so that it's manually stepped through uh, 0 through 7 with this uh, button, 
or you can click it over to four and, and then it will go zero volts one two three and then cycle back to zero as you continue to press the button or you can put it onto the uh, auto setting in which case it steps through the voltages automatically I'm just going to briefly step through the voltages we'll be applying <clears throat> at each uh, step this is the zero input this is uh, a one volt input the two volt input <clears throat> the three volt input the four volt input the five volt input the six volt input finally the seven volt input so as you can see with this uh, little test system it's it's really not a bad little system I'm going to be publishing this circuit and actually offering a circuit board for it if you're interested in the future. Before we actually get started with the, the calibration, one, one of the things we want to make sure of is that the high frequency adjust pot is uh, contributing the minimum amount to any frequency change. And a good way to do that, is to be able to know, what, because sometimes with these uh, multi-turn pots it's hard to know, you know which direction you're going. But just turn up the frequency of the oscillator to about 2 kilohertz, or so, it doesn't have to be exact. And then <clears throat> take your adjustment tool and go ahead on to that, that uh, trimmer and turn it. Now you can see the frequency is going down in that direction. That's the way we want to go. But if you had been going this way, you're going the wrong way, you see. So you want to take that all the way down so that the high frequency adjust is, uh, is contributing the minimum amount to the frequency. All right, so we are feeding in uh, zero volts and uh, we have adjusted the high frequency trim so that it's giving uh, no contribution to the to the uh, frequency. Uh, we then set the frequency of the oscillator using the coarse and fine controls to 30 hertz. We have our scope set to two milliseconds. Uh, we're triggering on the negative going uh, wave which is the reset of our ramp wave here, our raw ramp wave. And um, we then have the magnification of the horizontal sweep turned to times 10 and we have moved, uh, adjusted the position of the waveform so that we see the reset right in the middle of the screen. Now what you're going to do, the goal here is as you start to apply 1 volt, 2 volts, uh, 3 volts, you're going to want to adjust the scale trimmer so that this waveform stays right in the middle of the screen, the, the falling portion of that waveform. Because that, what that's uh, showing you is that you have equal uh, increments of time, which is what we want. Because when we go up one octave, we go exactly to half the time of a cycle length. When we go up another octave, we again go to half the time. Up another octave, again half the time. And so since the sweep is, is being triggered on the negative going edge uh, of the ramp as it resets, and uh, when we're down at the lower voltage, we see that we're, we're resetting right here. Well, if we go to twice the frequency, we should be resetting in exactly the same place, which is what we want. And, and so that's what you're going to do. Adjust the scale trimmer until this is what's happening for you. Okay?